Hello Ambassador Gemini and welcome now to Tuesday. Looks like sunny and sentimental for a second day in a row for the twins of the Zodiac. The moon, which focuses emotions, are focusing yours on long-term partnerships and marriages for another 24 hours. So you are emotionally sensitive to your long-term partnerships. And do not forget, Gemini, the most important long-term partnership is the one to yourself. So you definitely want to treat yourself well and you want to also emotionally invest in your partnerships for 24 or more. Now, be careful, you are sensitive, so if you guys get into a fight or there's an issue like that, you might emotionally overreact or you'll have a tendency to emotionally overreact. Now, zipping around the sun in Aries, as you'll probably know from watching Soul Garden every day, it's really about your social status this month. We're in Chapter 3 of Sun and Aries. Today, Venus is ruling the day. So Venus is our creation vibration. What that means is today is an excellent day to create the social status that you deserve or you seek. This is also an excellent day to create a new friendship, to invest in certain friendships, good day to create new business cards, good day to create a new title for yourself. Anything that deals with your reputation in society or your role in society, you'll find you are extra creative today and take advantage of that Venetian energy. Then lastly, I want to talk about Mercury. Mercury has advanced ahead in Taurus. Mercury, of course, is our intellectual prowess and it's your ruling planet. So right now, Geminis are intellectually focused on their subconscious, the karmic weeds in their soul garden, the issues that sabotage your life, the weeds that choke the life out of your flowers and your fruit. So you're focused on your past and your subconscious, but for a few days, Mercury is double trining two planets. It's trining retrograde Pluto and Capricorn, and it's trining retrograde Saturn in Virgo. What that means is you're going to put together three areas of your life and how they relate to your karma and your lifelong patterns. And those areas are, like I said, karma. Then on the other hand, where your intimacy and boundary issues are, so where you draw your lines, and also your early childhood and your foundation. So I think you're going to be doing some deep processing of intimacy, boundary, and sex, early childhood, foundation, home, and family, and how that plays into your karmic story. And this is important because next month when the sun moves into Taurus, you're probably going to actualize what you've learned here with Mercury. All right, Gemini, that's all I got for Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow with Shout Out Wednesday. Live, love, be. So